Okay, so that's wall one. Hmm. Oh, man. Anything on the ceiling? So it's a... Oh, buddy. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm so excited about this. This is amazing. And welcome to GT Not Live, where today I'm just a wee bit stressed uh, because it is late in the week and I measure my week based on the number of videos that we have to do, and I am at zero of six. Uh, because if you look across the channels, we have six videos to do every single week. We have three main theories, game, film, food, and we have three GT Lives that go up in any given week. Luckily, we haven't d dove into the shorts pool yet, which is going to do all sorts of weird things to it. But, um... But it is, I am still at zero of six, so I am ex excited that we are starting to check things off the to-do list today. And uh, today, we're checking things off the to-do list, starting with... Miss Amanda Who Adventures. Hey! Amanda the Adventurer? Yes, yes. R really? Yes. Nice! That's awesome! Is there an update? What, what is it? A, a game? There's, is there an actual game now? There's the final update, Matt. The <laughs> it's the final update! Bam, bam, bam. Exactly. Yeah, great. Yeah. So this one is going to be real spicy. Oh, it, real spicy? Have there been significant changes? I think off the bat, you're going to be very surprised at wow. what you can do. Okay. That's very exciting. Yeah. Uh, well, speaking of things that you can do and that you'll be surprised that you can do, you can buy this jacket right now, rip it off my body and, and have it to have and to keep and to cherish. Maybe not this one off my body. This is actually a prototype of it, but versions of this that we're making. Uh, this is just an announcement that, hey, Game Theory and Film Theory merch, GT Live merch, is available right now, right below this video. Uh, we launched it for the holiday season, so if you are interested in owning any new stuff, we have a lot of really cool items. Uh, this jacket is obviously a big one. Uh, it's a teal version or a turquoise version of you know, my, my kind of like signature red jacket with all the features that I really love about it, like the, the inside pockets and things like that. Um, but we also have, uh, we've, we've created the new version of the Quest jacket. For those of you who don't remember, that is the like puzzle jackets that we make. It's basically like an escape room that you wear. Uh, and this one is actually even more wearable than the first one, which is cool. Like the, the first one felt like kind of puzzly and it had a lot of patches, but as a design, it was like, it, it was it, it was a it was good, but this one is actually like oh that passes as a completely normal jacket, and also there's deep lore hidden inside of it, and there's a like a prize that you get at the end, all that stuff. Um, we have plasma ball, which is going to be showing up here at some point, right? It is. We're gonna like we're we're seeing if it can work on set, you know. Yes, we're trying to make it work on set. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to I mean, to get it works. It, oh, it works. It works wonderfully. It's, it's awesome. Just the electrical implications I'm trying to work Yeah, it, it makes me feel like Thor, I gotta say. Like, mm. God of Thunder. Actually, it would be more like God of Lightning. And it's green. It's Game Theory Green, which is cool. A uh, lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of really cool stuff this year in time for the holidays. So if you're interested, link is right below. Uh, we got like Game Theory hoodies, t-shirts with hoods, Film Theory t-shirts, Film Theory hoodies that are inspired by uh, being in film school, which I never was, but uh, a lot of members of our team can attest to. Shall we play some Amanda the Adventure? I think we should adventure. Let's adventure with uh, version 1.4. Point one. Point, ah, 1.4.1. 1. Yes. Excellent. Okay, let's fire this up. So as soon as I boot it up, you said. Here we go. New logo. It's right? New animation style? Yes. Blowing my mind, Ash. Uh, okay. Ooh. Wait, I can move it? <gasps> oh, you're right. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay, AS oh wow, you can move? <gasps> oh, this is different. Yeah! WSD with your mouse, control, and escape. Oh, the pause, that's, that's interesting. So we are ourselves almost in a tape. That's funny. Yeah, let's resume that. Oh, cool. 
Okay, we got the picture. So uh, in previous versions of this, we've we've been able to see this picture before. We've theorized that um, this might represent uh, Amanda and her brother, or you know the the creature that we know kind of is the monster at the end of this thing. Maybe they were victims of this or whatever. But either they're what they're friends or they're brother and sister, right? Uh, you, it seems like we get like a, a clearer shot of them at this point. Like you can actually make out a lot of their features. Um, it's giving Monet. It's oh, it's, it's serving serious Monet. <laughs> like serving some serious water lilies right here, like impressionist painting. Yes, exactly. Yeah, like maybe some pointillism, Ooh, some like yes. Georges Seurat. It is interesting. The background is that like fall tree. So there's two things, and as we look closer at this, there's two things that I, I wonder about. Right. So it looks like they're playing on a hill. Is it fall colors or like what's all the the stuff behind them? Um, I miss, maybe fall leaves or whatever. Maybe it's just a background, but it is interesting how colorful it is. Um, looks to be sunset. I do wonder about this in the background as well, like this this eye of Sauron back there. Maybe I'm watching too much too much Rings of Power these days, <laughs> or thinking about Lord of the Rings too much. But this like random outcropping back there is is unusual. I wonder if we like step further back if we'll see. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, oh, this is so different. Oh, they, they went hard on this new update. This is great. Because up to this point, all the updates have really been like, here's an extra little detail from the, the part in the middle where you type in meat. Um, oh, wow, wow. Okay. In my head. Okay, so let's, let's just work through this. In my head, in my head, in my head, it is watching always watching can't hide all always to all way to watching can't hide always watching can't hide always watching can't hide why is there two is there is there going to be a code here oh is there going to be a code in my head in my head i lied i was followed i was followed in my head so is so other interesting things here so obviously this is you know, classic bleeding eyes. It wouldn't be an indie horror game without some face with bleeding eyes, <laughs> either bleeding or, or black blood or whatever. Um, but what's interesting to call out here, right, is we, at this point, we've played this game enough times that we know that the monster is, doesn't have eyes, right? It's, it's kind of this, like, faceless, like, long-armed black creature with what looks to be, like, white mushrooms or, like, a, a neurological cap or, like, white spots all around the top of its head. So for, the, for this thing or whatever this is to be depicted with eyes, that's pretty interesting uh, in my head. Anything else up there? No, just in my head, in my head, in my head. Huh. When you hear that phrase over and over. In my head. Yes. Okay, in cool. In my head. I was worried I was the only one thinking about the cranberries. Yeah, I was going to say, zombie, zombie. This is a very musical episode of GT Not <laughs> Live really today. It really is. Zombie. It's great. Oh, my God. Right? No, all the time. Constantly. <laughs> Constantly. Oh, uh, what else we got over here? What is this thing? What is... Okay, so that's eyeballs on top, and it looks like an Among Us phony. Right? Like, what, what's the way... Right? I mean, honestly, where, where's he at? Where's he at? He's over here? I mean, tell me, tell me that they're not separated at birth right here. Look at that. Look at that. There he is. There it is right there. And there it is right there. There's this little window screen. And he's been eliminated. X! Intruder alert, emergency meeting. He's been dead. He got shot through the face with the tentacle. Yeah, that's totally, that is exactly where my mind went. Same, separated at birth. Oh man, that's a game theory waiting to happen. That's, that's like an early year one, year two game theory. Is Amanda the Adventurer secretly the sequel to Among Us? Look here, draw the outline, there it is. Separate coincidence? I think not. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, what is that? It's got a little, little like car drawing. Looks like a little, car, like a little rocket at the back. You got a little rocket at the back. You got a little windshield wheels, huh? Why is this one a different shape? I am. In, see, there's a bunch of in my head, in my head, in my head, but this one says, I am... Can you make that out, Ash? Is there anything else that you can see there? I am sad. I am something... I am... 
I am. It has to be a short word that ends with D. Blah, blah, blah. Right? D. <laughs> <laughs> huh. I am head. No. In. See, that's all the other ones are in my head. I'm dead. Is this? Oh no! It, it, it's in. E I N. Yeah, it's in my head. I think I N in head. Maybe. Anyway, I, oh, I lied. No, I lied. Okay, so that's wall one. Hmm. Oh, man. Anything on the ceiling? So it's, it's, oh, buddy. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm so excited about this. This is amazing. This is the sort of update that I've been waiting for for Amanda the Adventure. I'm so hyped about where this is going. What does this mean? I, I am asking the same question, wall. Yeah, you and me, wall. Same wavelength. I see these everywhere. I see these every what the eyes? I see eyes everywhere. What was this doing in my attic? Do not watch. Okay, so in a previous theory, uh, we had talked about this and we saw it on the Steam page, um, where uh, it, it was made clear that there was a box of old tapes that said "Do not watch," and then the, the the guy did it anyway, right? And then he gets a phone call in the woods saying like "Burn it, burn it," and then he doesn't burn it. He watches it. Look, they're asking all the right questions. Who? Ghost? Demon? Entity? Neurological takeover? A, a glitch coming to life? Who's watching? Who's watching? Who's watching? Hmm. Ooh, hey, there's a vase and stuff. Hold up. Okay. So there, there's a lot. Um, I'm being watched. I hear things. There's something in these tapes. I don't know if this matters at all, uh, but I am noticing like this one has the the wheel of tape, I guess, and this one doesn't. So I don't know if that'll transition or like this says that it's been rewound. But it is a, an odd detail to show like, hey, this one, half has all the tape and this one doesn't. No studio, no cast. Who made this series? How many are there? Oh, and then here's a bunch of numbers. 842, this, so, yeah, there's going to be a code here. So we know that there's a 2 in it. 842513. Is that all that were made? Okay, so, mm, we saw this at one point, I, I believe, when we were researching this for a previous episode. How many episodes of Amanda the Adventurer there were? I think it was, like, 5? There, there weren't many. I, I don't think it was over 10. Okay, so I wonder, we'll, we'll probably have to figure out the answer to that in order to figure out what the, what the number is. What else we got going on? Don't let her take you. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Here, I hear her calling. She, what is that? I hear her calling me. She's desperate to get out. I can't take it. I can't take it anymore. Okay. So it seems like she's inside, like very clearly in my head. Desperate. So is, she's, I hear her calling me. She's desperate to get out. Is she desperate to get out of the tape? Presumably don't do anything she says. Okay, don't do anything she says. I miss you. I'll find you. And there's her reaching out of the TV to grab me, or whoever, presumably. Huh. Who is she? What is she? How long has she been doing this? Don't watch. It's too late for me. I'm sorry for what I've done. Hmm. And then nothing on this wall. Cool. And there's the tape. Interesting. This is this is really awesome. I'm really excited about this. Also, they're asking all the right questions. These are all the questions that I would be asking myself for an episode. So there you go. Whoever is writing with their own blood on these walls, you and I are on the same page. What's up with this vase? This vase is suspicious to me. Anything with it? Anything inside it? I can't interact with it or anything, can I? No, I can just control. All right. Has the game changed? Find the TV. Okay, looks like it's probably time to enter. I wonder if the room will change as we go. All right, let's see. Ha! Ah, spooky face! Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. Wooly! And I love apples. Do Classic. you like apples? 
Still that random thing hopping along in the back. Tell you, it's still a thing happening along in the background. Uh, I do like apples. I'm gonna say yes. I'm allergic to apples. S sucks. That's okay. Someone else on our on never team fears to try something new, is too. It's rough. We don't even know where the store Tom. is. Tom is allergic to apples. Do you apples. know where the yeah. store is? Do we know where the store is? I do, uh, but I choose not to engage. Do you know where the store is? Can I click you? Has anything changed? Uh, can I walk away? Can I escape out? No, I cannot. Okay, I was just curious. This does not immediately indicate store, I'm just telling you. Do you know where the store is? <laughs> Do you know what store is? If G's mean girl, Amanda. Yeah, that's right. Let's go. We're at the store. Yeah. It sure looks crowded. Bah. And look, nah. there are apples. Wooly all-star. Can see apples? I can. Good job. Nailed it. Now we can make apple pie. Hmm. I'll have to see if that has changed. Ooh. Ooh, hello. Tape on the floor. Can I, can I? Oh. <laughs> 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 That's just delightful to me. Can I, can I stack you? Okay, there we go. Episode one. The fact that they didn't give us the next tape just tells me that it's it's hidden around here, huh? Ooh, hey! Oh, here you go. 20. Or two. Okay, so they're, they're calling our attention to the stuff. Um... That's episode two. I am curious. What happens if I put episode one back in? Can I? I mean, it was it was it was such a banger, honestly. Hi, okay. I'm Amanda. Yeah, it's and the same thing. I'm I'm, I was just curious. I, and I love apples. Do you like apples? Because this is the this is the first time. No. I'm allergic. Tilda. <laughs> no. That's okay. Okay. I wonder if the credits have changed with this update since this is such a big update. Um. <laughs> Bleh. Bleh. <laughs> Every time. Can I open this door? I didn't even try it before. I'm like, uh, yeah, nothing. Okay, I figured not. No studio, no cast. Me this. Yeah, okay, so the walls are still the same, it looks like. This is cool. I'm excited about this. I'm excited about this game. I have, I have high hopes for this game. Oh, you. Okay, we don't have much time. Whatever you do. Hi everyone, mm. I'm Amanda. I'm Wooly. I'm Wooly. Today, we're going to get I'm grandma. here against my will. What is a grandma a vegetarian? Can Shut up, she's a vegan. Uh. Can you tell us where the butcher is? Where's the butcher? The butcher? <sighs> no, okay. Still nothing there. Go there. There it is. Let's go. Right there! I've eliminated all competition. Hello? On the street. Hmm. They're making a bigger deal of that. Um. Isn't it meat? Yeah. What was it? Uh, we should type in. What is it? Lamb. Lamb next time, right? Okay. Well, we'll go through it again, and we'll type in lamb next time. Baldi, Baldi's basics making a cameo over here. Um, there is a Baldi's basics oh. new little thingy. Oh, zero. Oh, I didn't even think that was. I was just like, oh, that's just an or. <laughs> I'm glad they highlighted that one because I would not have put two and two together for that one. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that's terrifying. Oh, no. <laughs> That's really disturbing. Meat is lamb. Oh, hello. So that's episode three. Meat is... That seems like it's telling me to play this again and type in lamb. Here, I'll do it again. Oh, Meat you. is lamb. We don't have much time. Whatever you do. Don't you just hate it when someone, you know, barges into your room while you're trying to watch television and just... Rights and blood on your ceiling. For grandma. What 
I don't know if you've ever had that happen, but it's it's a, it's a pain. Because then you got to break out the ladder, the bleach to scrub it out. It's dripping. It's dripping onto the carpet. It's a pain. Blood is not the writing utensil that you think it is. Just saying. Not efficient. I'm so sorry to break it to you. Yeah, we need lamb. Specifically, lamb. Can you tell the meat man what we need? Lamb? Tell him what we need. I'm, I'm, I'm saying lamb. Very eager. That's right. <laughs> Venison. Jerky. <laughs> tofu. Uh, excuse me. Tofu? What if you... Maybe that's been the secret code this entire time. You know, when they're like, Grandma's a vegetarian. If you type in tofu, you just win. You win it all. <laughs> this game was made by a group of vegetarians. All right. Oh, hey, ooh. So now we get our choice, yeah? Did that unlock anything new? Oh, this is good. Man, it's just rain. Oh, the... Oh, wow, we got a lot of new tapes. Oh. <gasps> Okay, well, first off, I want to clean this up because this is stressing me out. <laughs> get out of here. Uh, get out. So there's one right next to the TV. There's one next to the vase. And there's one here. The vase makes me think of, like, uh, ashes, right? This, this kind of, like, urn. It makes me think of, like, ashes. I want to start with that one. Because this one's, like, ooh, the obvious one. I want to go with the less obvious one. But they're both stretched out. <laughs> You're right. The treasure map said the wood. Let's go. Okay, we're back here. I think we're close to the treasure now. Aren't you excited, Wooly? No. I said, aren't you excited? Aren't you excited? Oh, yeah. Right. Um, yeah, but we still don't know where the treasure is. Uh, the voice actor is just over buried. it. Yeah. So, Our so friends at excited. DPS said that X marks the spot. Can you see where the X is? I wish there was another X hidden in the scene. Like, just in the design, and you, like, click it, and it's, like, technically correct. Technically correct! The best kind of correct! X marks the spot! One with the X. That's the one! <laughs> That's the one! We're looking for the X, right? You're so right. Oh! 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 The X! The X is the one she's looking for. There it is! Treasure awaits! <laughs> Treasure awaits! Looks like the spot! But how are we supposed to get at it under all the dirt? Bah! Luckily, I brought some tools to help us with our adventure. I brought a crowbar, a rope, and a shovel. We already used the crowbar for the door. We used the rope for- Strangling our victims to death. And now, we only have the shovel. What tool should we use to dig up the treasure? Hmm. Depend- oh. I gotta type it in, I forgot. Uh, you know- Noose! I didn't bring that. But please, <laughs> doesn't get you did, treasure. though. You did bring that. Noose! Noose! <laughs> Noose? <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what it is. Noose. The only tool we haven't used yet is the shovel. Sure, but... With that said... Tools can do... The only both. tool we would need is... Our hands. <laughs> maybe we don't need a tool in this case. News. Oh, oh, I can't. I can't do it. I wish. The shovel. You're right. I love now it. we can dig this up before someone. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Ah, no, I. I can't let you do this anymore. I don't care what you do to me. You take the tape out now and destroy them, burn them, whatever. Just get rid of these other tapes. Do you hear me? You can't let anyone. Else, watch the. Anyone? Oh, oh. <laughs> really creepy. Okay, we segue into this. I know the lore is like they're living inside of the tapes, so these aren't animated. But can you imagine if someone animated? Like, if this was just, they're like, well, now we have to animate the part where you know a man. <laughs> Turns into a demon child, and this is all this is all part of our pre-scripted series. It's totally fine. Blair Witch, one of my favorites. Tape. I like that they have to identify it as what the tape is, though. T tape. Oh. 
He doesn't have enough kindling. Even if he didn't get possessed in this moment to watch the tapes. Burn. Burn! Burn! Do I get one more? Resist! 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 I'm fighting! I'm fighting hard! I'm fighting hard for you, bud! Uh. Watch. Tried. Sorry, man. Oh! Shovel! <laughs> she was looking for a shovel the whole time. Nope, gotta go watch some children's programming. I'm so excited for the Blue's Clues version of this. Hello? Yeah, hey. Um, yeah, no, I found it. Yeah, I found the place. It was just, uh, it was just off the highway. Yeah, not too far. I wasn't that hard. Um, yeah, no, they're all... Hold on, what? Was I... Was I seven? Demon tapes? No, I... Do not watch? No, I don't think so. Who would... Who'd be following me? No. Destroy nobody, tapes. Nobody was there. It was just me. Um, yeah, no, the, the tapes are all destroyed, too. They're, they're gone. They're not all Every destroyed. single one. Liar. Yeah, no no problem. Um, listen, I, it, it, it's getting late. I uh, okay. I really need to get home. Gotta go watch uh, I got door. work tomorrow. So I'll, uh, I'll call you when I get back home, okay? Cool. Okay. Have a good night. I'll, uh, talk to you soon. Okay, bye. Mm. No joke, I started watching... I started watching Bluey, because it's a kid's show that I'm like, I wonder if there's creepy lore in here, or something that we can, like, do a theory on. But, and also as, as, like, a, hey, Ollie is of this age, it's highly recommended to us, like, this is a good one. So I've been watching Bluey with him every once in a while. But, um... But now, sometimes at night, if I'm just, like, tired... I will unironically throw on Bluey just because it is delightful and happy and makes me like smile and laugh. And so the, the idea of like going home to watch like a quick Dora or something, it's like, oh yeah, I, I could, re hashtag relatable there. That's totally fine. Anything new there? New there? Okay. Three is our new number. We still have this guy. Let's watch the other cursed tape first. And okay, so this is. This was in like update what two or oh what is what was this supposed to be? I would try woolly. Oh, that's right. Yep, that was what it was. Yeah, there it is. And there he is. And that's where we go. Okay, so that's 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 the short one. Okay, so what they did was they broke up the other two updates into kind of individual pieces. Two. Three, two, zero. Okay. Two, three, two, zero. What is that? 2023. Oh, 2023. Game's coming out in 2023! That's the code, right? Hmm. It's dark out. It is. Let's go home. Home. Nighttime playground is is best playground. Just throwing it out there. Amanda, you're missing Go out. To the house. Go to the house. Go now. Knock on the door. I'd rather I go through the window. To go inside. Let me in. Nah, I, I'm good. I'm good. Thanks. Everybody home? Uh, is this, is it 2023 here? No, enter. All right, there is. there's our monster, <laughs> the little mandible. Twenty twenty three. I thought there was gonna be a place at the end. Um, what, in the meat section, maybe? Is that where we're supposed to, because that's the only one where there's a four digit 
or like four entry code. Let's yeah, we'll try that in a second. But I I'm not joking about Blues Clues. How how have there not been enough Blues Clues? related horror games at this point. Is, have we not hit that nostalgia cycle yet, friendos? No, we clearly have, because when, when Steve did his whole, like, yeah, I'm proud of you over on Twitter, and everyone's like, oh, Steve's back. So there's clearly a nostalgia for that franchise. Where, where's, where's the Blue's Clues? Like, the dark murder that's solved by your little blue pup friend. You know? Hi, like I'm Amanda. Blue's it's paw print, like blue. bloody paw print and over I things that, like, Do relate like to apples? a murder or something. I don't know. That would be, that would be fun. I'm allergic. Here, I'm just going to run through this because I think okay. uh, the 2023, I'm assuming, is going into where we type in meat or lamb since that one's been established as the place where you go you know where and type in codes and things happen. So we're going to try that real quick. Yeah, that's um, right. Let's go. Right? But I think, that would be a, I think that would be a solid sure horror bad. concept. The Blue's Clues Horror Game. Look, there are apples. Can it's like one part Sherlock apples? Holmes, one part like <laughs> blue putting things in. 2023. Yeah, yeah, apple. Good job! Now we can make apple pie. Woo! Nailed it. Gullah Gullah Island was old. That was even <laughs> before my time, but just Did the concept of a Gullah Gullah Island grandma. one would be funny. Um, I'm trying to think. What What is one that I'm like, oh. I feel like Rugrats back in the day of like old Nick. If you're looking at old Nicktoons stuff. With these like creepy babies crawling. Babies are creepy inherently. <laughs> Says the parent. Uh, no, but like, <laughs> babies and their toys. I don't know, like, demon babies. You have the child in yellow and stuff happening. I feel like there's untapped fodder there. Okay, so I'm going to try 2023. No way. Yeah, man. No I way. Ooh. Ooh. I don't need to allow You should have with them to let You are no longer safe. You must prepare. You must be ready. Don't let her in. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Say hello, 2023. Huh. Yeah! Oh, so cool! Yes! I am so stoked about that. That's awesome. Oh, that's fun. So, okay, real quick, let, let's analyze what's, what's going on now. So, you should have listened to the sheep means that there is a third, yet another entity in here, right? So you have Amanda, who is in my head trying to get out whatever she's restless she wants to get out you have wooly who is going along to a certain extent and then is like get out get out of here stop this burn the tapes so he's aware and now you have whatever this like auto automated voice entity is as a third layer on top of all of this who's also like hey you should have listened to the sheep so everyone basically all the signs are pointing to don't watch the tapes and yet we continue to watch the tapes <laughs> not a great plan um so we know at least two people know the secret of these tapes and what's wrong with them. Um, the question I have is in our little room here, and, and who knows, this is all a demo for what will obviously be a larger game. Um, it makes me wonder though, if the room that we're sitting in is us trapped in our own mind, you know, is this us already a prisoner of Amanda or is this a real house? You know, there's a door. Like, is she going to, like, try to come in? Does this affect the gameplay at all? Or is this just symbolic of what's going on? But we see a lot of layers here. Um, are we the guy in the woods, you know, who, who preserves the tapes and goes to watch them? Or is the guy in the woods actually potentially woolly, you know? Um, I'm not 100% sure. I, you know, there's a, there's a lot of directions that you could take it. Uh, are we a new victim? Are we an old victim? But I, it's it's cool. And stuff like, I lied. I lied. It's in my head. It's in my head. 
Because on one hand, yeah, there's a lot of weirdness to it, right? Because Amanda is simultaneously in his head or in, in whoever's head, but also inside the tapes looking to get out. So it Amanda appears, or this monster, whatever it is, appears to be in multiple locations at the same time. Or has already gotten out of the tapes and subsumed me, right? Because we see imagery of Amanda or the Amanda monster reaching out to get someone outside of the TV. So one part is Amanda escaping a television. Another part is maybe there's another monster. Maybe it's the Amanda monster. Now that she, you know, is out and about, maybe she's inside someone's head. Maybe, she, yeah, it's, it's interesting. We're being told like, almost like three or four different stories at the same time. There's the story of Wooly. There's the story of this guy in the woods, you know, supposedly burning the tapes. There's Amanda getting out of a TV and or someone's head. Hmm. I don't know. I, I like it. Here's the thing. Amanda the Adventurer has done a really good job of seeding out the right amount to get you to ask a lot of questions. And, and feels thought out enough that it's like, oh, there will be answers at some point, or at least there'll be hints towards answers at some point. Um, it feels very intentionally built, and I like that. It's, it's, it's seeding out enough clues that there is stuff to, like, chew on and stuff to, like, how do these pieces fit together? Let me see, you know, this chunk of the puzzle, this chunk of the puzzle. They don't quite match yet. What's the piece that's missing or kind of where are we at? Um... So I like that. I like that there is some flexibility there, but uh, it's not so far spread and so many things. It's like, what's that? What's that? What's that? That it doesn't feel cohesive, right? It feels all part of this cohesive haunted children's horror tape thing. You know, it feels, I, I've talked about this, right? It feels very much like The Ring, um, where you have an entity inside of tapes, inside of a TV, looking to get out and kill, looking to, you know... It, it doesn't seem like kill. It looks like looking to get out and pull an Ennard, right? Or pull a, you know, a FNAF a glitch trap almost, right? Where it's like, I'm looking to get out and then disguise myself or hide myself in a human surrogate, a human avatar. That's where my head's at, at least, based on kind of the imagery that we're seeing. Um, it's in my head. The, the idea of it's in my head. I lied, which means that like I'm not in control of my own actions, you know, or I lied about burning the tapes. You know, that's a, a potential interpretation of the whole I lied thing. Your eyes bleeding or burning or melting is like I'm watching the tapes. And once I've seen them, I've been scarred. Uh, same thing with the ring, right? You watch the tape and then seven days later, you're you're a victim, right? So I can see this functioning the same way. You watch the tapes, X number of days later, you, you are taken over by the following Amanda. Um, Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I love this. Uh, I am I am really excited about where this goes, and I'm excited that it's coming out in 2023, that we have something to look forward to next year. I'm glad that they're giving us this tease. I, I can't wait. Like, honestly, of everything that's kind of cooking around, Amanda might be the one that I'm most excited about. You know, I know that Ruin DLC for Security Breach, I'm very intrigued about that. I'm, I'm excited for that. I'm hopeful for that. I'm hopeful for that. Um... When it comes to some of the stuff like Bendy, I think, uh, you know, Bendy is exciting. Um, actually, actually, we're going to play Bendy soon, right? That, that's this year, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, like, so, actually, extremely soon. So, there you go. So, Bendy's soon. So, that one, actually, I don't even have to necessarily look forward to. But, but uh, like, a Poppy, I know Chapter 3, obviously, will be coming out at some point. But, like this, Man of the Adventure. Got my eyes on you. I, I have I have hopes. I have hopes, you know? So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and we'll just have to tune in next time. So can you hit that subscribe button? Thank you. Hit the subscribe button for more Amanda the Adventurer content when it comes out. Do it now or suffer the consequences. And as always, remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. See ya!